Berkeley programmers look up from their computer screens and recognize that the United States Congress is considering impeaching a man because he lied about having sex. And they said, what the hell? What the hell? There are real problems that America needs to address. This is way down that list, way down that list. And so they started a movement that gathered signatures from millions of people within a couple of weeks, from Democrats and Republicans alike, that said, censure the man and move on. And that movement, appearing out of nowhere, shocked Washington and forced Washington to reconsider the craziness that had swept over the inside. I think the Tea Party, the grassroots component of the Tea Party movement, not the Beltway and Tea Party people, but the grassroots Tea Party movement was a similar exo-political movement that bubbled up using what they self-describe as the open source energy of the internet to rally people behind their cause. I think the Occupy movement was an exo-political movement, which manifested itself, was created solely by the way in which people noticed and recognized and followed the online activity that made them salient and significant. I think the extraordinary movement to stop the latest craziness emanating from this part of the country to regulate what's called, quote, piracy on the internet, a bill which, when it was introduced, Chris Dodd, the head of the Motion Picture Association of America, you know, that's the same Chris Dodd who was senator from Connecticut and promised he would never become a lobbyist. He's the guy I'm talking about, head of the Motion Picture Association of America, said he had 60 signatures in the Senate to support this act. And yet within a couple weeks after an extraordinary net uprising, including Wikipedia shutting down for a, today, for a day, and hundreds of thousands of telephone calls to Capitol Hill telling them to stop, SOPA was withdrawn. This is a kind of power. It's a ground up power. It's new, some from the geeky community think it's new, but if it's hope <laughs> for this movement, I think it is in this exo <coughs> politics. But here's the problem with exo politics. Too much of this exo-political movement is fundamentally polarized. Like everyone, like politicians, like the political parties, like the media, like the dot-orgs that try to rally us, they practice this business model of polarization. They recognize, their managers recognize, they profit the more they divide us, the more they teach us to hate them, the more they rally us to the loyalty to our side, the more they profit from us, the more they destroy the possibility that we can work with that side to bring about the change we need. We've produced what we could call the Ray-Ban culture, polarized, and very, very cool. <laughs> now the answer, I think, is to begin to focus on the right message and the right method. So let's focus first on the message. There is a way of talking about this problem that everybody can assent to, from the left and the right. That's to focus on this root, the root is corruption, this picture of the way our government functions. <clears throat> My view, it is only this frame that can unite, unite people as diverse as these and these. <laughs> it's my view that this frame will not unite people from the left and the right. We said this at the core. And in pushing this at the core, we've been given another gift. Not by Stephen Colbert, but by Stephen Colbert's lawyer and the team that he worked with in pulling this together. That is the American Anti-Corruption Act, which as you pour through it, you will recognize it to be an extraordinary collection of changes that if implemented would fundamentally reshape the corruption of Washington. So there's a provision that basically shuts down the Farm League for K Street. There's a, position, a, pr a provision that creates citizen-funded campaigns building on the idea of vouchers funded through tax credits. There's a provision that fundamentally changes and challenges Citizens United, building an idea and an observation that I made in my book, Citizens in Republic Law.